We are here today introducing the Truck System Technologies 507 SC Truck Tire Pressure Monitoring System. This system was developed and perfected in partnership with Prime Inc. out of Springfield, Missouri. Prime is incidentally committed to operating this system on all 5,000 tractors within their fleet. John Krishner Trucking also utilizes our, one of our systems on 500 of their trucks as well. Uh, the system is very easy to install. You'll see it's got a nice rubber stubby antenna. Comes equipped with a hard wire kit, which most drivers wire right into the ignition. So when the truck has power, the system has power. However, it will splice into any 12 volt power supply. You'll notice it's pre-fused. You can see the 5 amp, it comes equipped with a 5 amp fuse. And the system is, comes equipped with this custom bracket, which allows for a nice dash flush mount installation, giving the illusion of a factory direct installation. Our sensors, that operate with this system are brass. They weigh 43 and a half grams. They're one inch in diameter. They're one inch deep. And they're a pretty solid sensor. You can stomp on it, drive over it with a car, pretty much anything. They're, you're not going to hurt this sensor. Each sensor has a six digit alphanumeric code which is etched into the shell of the sensor for easy installation. And based on these codes, the system's only going to read and report data from the sensors that are actually coded into it. So when you're in an environment where you're parked next to another truck that has our system, you're not going to have cross-read. And with that, Matt is going to demonstrate the ease of installation of a single sensor right here before your very eyes. Thank you, Dan. Before you set your sensor onto the valve stem, you're going to want to make sure your tire pressure is compliant with the pressure that your tires are supposed to run on. So if you run 100 PSI, you want to make sure it's 100 PSI. Take your 507 sensor and barely screw it onto the valve stem, letting it sit on the valve stem, but not engaging the Schrader valve. Take your monitor with the diagram of the truck and the battery icon on the very bottom right hand corner, and you're gonna press and hold the set button for nine seconds until it beeps twice. Wait for the second beep. You will scroll using the plus and minus buttons to each tire you want to have set onto your program. For our system, we're going to use the outer right dually. Upon doing so, you're going to want to press the sensor upon the valve stem, screwing it on, snug but not tight. Let the monitor pick up the code. Once it picks up the code, go on to the next tire. Repeat this for every tire you have, and once you are finished, you will press and hold the set button for six more seconds to save all your tires. From here, you will see all your tires on the diagram. Once you are ready to move on to your high and low pressures, press and hold the mode button for six seconds. When setting your high and low pressures, you want to make sure they're 25% above and 10% below what you normally run your pressures at. We run our pressures at 80 PSI on our rig, so we're going to set that accordingly. Yours may be different, so set yours accordingly as well. When you come to the screen, you'll see PSI flashing. Press mode to go past this. You'll come up to the Fahrenheit sign. Some of you may have Celsius on your screen. Easily changing that, all it takes to require to do that is a plus button right here. Changing that to Fahrenheit. Press mode and you'll go on to your front two tires. You'll see a high pressure tire with 175 PSI. It goes up to 196 and it goes as low as zero. So make sure that you set yours accordingly. Press mode to go to your low pressure setting. Change that using the plus and minus buttons. Continue that for each axle. For our system, we're gonna change this to make sure it goes according to our 80 PSI. 104 PSI is our high pressure. 72 is our low pressure, and again, you'll use the plus and minus buttons to scroll through all the PSI. Continue that for your trailer tires, and when you finish the trailer tires, you'll come up to the temperature. 158 degrees is the, the, the basic setting for the monitor, if you will. The Michelin standard for tires is 180 degrees to 200 degrees, your tire will begin to fail. Our monitor will let you know of brake calipers, wheel bearing, low pressure, anything like that. If you have a problem, this monitor is going to tell you exactly, hey, you may want to pull over and, and fix that right away. Once you get done, press mode again, and it'll take you back to the PSI. You know you'll be done this time. One key note, 
your high pressure cannot go lower than your low pressure. So make sure that if your low pressure is below 100, you want to set your low pressure first, then scroll back around and change the high pressures accordingly. To save these settings, you will press the set button once. You are now ready to save it. Our monitor has picked up this sensor right here. It's at 82 PSI and 102 degrees. Your tires will pick up anywhere from seconds to minutes. It shouldn't take too long and it should be very expeditious. Thank you for your time and enjoy your system.